Hi there, Craig Hocknell here, the inventor of the Sabre. Just wanted to share with you a little evolution and a story that has really impacted me as a coach and definitely as a player. So here in my right hand is the original Sabre. Uh, red in color with black handles. The, the original Sabre was designed to develop strength and speed. So simply what you did is you flipped it around and in one end, at this end, when you held it with the S pointed down, it was extremely heavy and that's where you worked on strength. On this end, you flipped it around and this is light, so this is where you worked on speed. And you also worked on your spin and other exercises with this saber. I started using this saber and it helped me tremendously because I forgot about the club face and I was able to swing the shaft and not try to manipulate that club face. So what I found after using the saber, even though it was fantastic for myself, what I found with my students was they were missing timing and technique. I, as a lifetime golfer, had timing and technique, so really what I was working on was adding strength and speed. So what I did was I developed the square saber. So with the square saber, the technique component of it is the contrasting colors between the blue and the carbon fiber. Also, it has ball position indicators on here. So when you set it on the ground, you can position the ball right out in front of you, and then you can take your stance accordingly for chip, pitch, iron, and wood. The squareness really helps with the wrist hinge. So when I had the round one, I knew how to hinge my wrist and I knew how to square the face. The square one has really helped my students to do that. It still has heavy, and it still has light. It's square, but it also has a reciprocating ball inside of it. Now this ball has been tremendous for helping people understand timing. So when you load up your wrists in this position and you have centrifugal force loaded up here, when you release it and turn, it creates a snap. And that acceleration of your hands and arms and body allows that ball to snap quickly down the saber. Now I can tell you what happened for me in developing the square saber. I was able to actually refine my own technique. I was really surprised. I thought, you know what, I already kind of know how to hinge my wrists. I know how to square the face. But I can tell you that without a doubt, I am actually playing better golf myself because I'm using the saber two or the saber square. For me, what one thing that I found is when I would get into the top of my backswing here, I kind of knew where to hinge my wrist, but what I was finding a lot of times was sometimes I would be a little high, sometimes I would be a little low, sometimes my wrist maybe wouldn't quite hinge on the right plane. And what I found since I broke my hand is that there is a true anatomical neutral position to your wrist. If I take any object, whether it's this saber or a club or an axe or a bat or anything, and I want to hinge it and I want to load it up, it's very important that your anatomy be loaded properly. This square saber has truly helped me set my thumb under the shaft because it's square. And it's really helped me to load it properly. The other thing that it's helped me to do because of the reciprocating ball is I'm now able to set it in this position and develop a slightly shorter backswing and a more explosive kinesthetic feel of sequence. So for me, what I would do, I would take the round saber and I would basically swing it. And I would just kind of spin and swish. And you'll hear lots of instruction online with me spinning and swishing. Well, that's just not enough. You have to be able to spin, set, dynamically move in the proper athletic sequence and swish at the right time. The square saber really helps you to set and swish and then actually reset on the other side. Finding this reset position on the other side will take the power that you've released and make it accurate down the fairway. So as you can tell, I'm excited. I love these two products. 
The round saber has been great developing strength and speed. The square saber now combines timing and technique. So I really look forward to sharing these with you and helping you take your game to the next level.